Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. We're doing a engine replacement on Mazda today and we're going to show you guys how to disconnect the wiring, engine wiring harness. You don't need to disconnect every single wire one by one. Most of the Mazda vehicles, the newer ones, uh, you can disconnect the whole wiring assembly, the whole wiring harness, so that way you don't need to deal with one, every single wire and some of them are really hard to reach. So we're demonstrating on CX-7 that we have here at the shop. But we want to show you on this one, it's a 2.3 engine which is used in many vehicles and even uh, even other, other Mazda vehicles and the 2.0 we know and the 2.5 are very similar as well. So you can see, okay, in order to pull the engine out we need to disconnect all the wires or disconnect the wiring harness. So usually there is a ground wire that you can disconnect, okay, the one that goes to the battery, you can see like this one here, and that way it will stay with the wiring harness. Probably there is another one uh, closer to the passenger side as well, check it out, uh, because sometimes uh, it's very common to have two, two ground wires, Okay, we got this one there now. Then we're going to open the fuse box and there we're going to disconnect that cable right here. Okay, you need to lift the, uh, the blue piece up. Okay, and it's going to disconnect all the wires there. Okay, so that's out of the way now. We can go ahead and install the, the lid so we don't, we don't need to work there anymore. And now we need to disconnect all those wires you can see. And this you just pry the white piece, okay, okay, like that, you can see, you need to click there, okay, and then you can, you can pry it open, it's easier when you have it on the thing, it's stuck now, okay, you can see that's the piece right here, okay, and now we can move it up, okay, we have the same thing on the other one there, but we won't need to mess with this one because it's not part of the engine wiring harness. Now this one actually goes towards the interior of the car. Okay, next we need to disconnect the positive uh, wire usually for the battery. Is attached with a 10 millimeter nut, okay? And as you can see guys, the whole engine wiring harness, transmission wiring harness, Everything is there, so you don't need to worry about anything else. All we have to do is just disconnect the, uh, the little bitty holders that it has, okay? We can use a prank too, and that will be the whole procedure, guys. Okay, right, guys, we pulled the engine out, as you can see, and all the wiring harness is on the engine. We just wanted to demonstrate and show you that you don't need to unhook every single wire on its own. As you can see, we have all the wiring harness, even ignition codes you can see, AC compressor, power steering pump wires, everything, everything is here, turbo wires, so we don't need to worry about disconnecting anything. That would be the easiest way to pull it out, guys. So, thank you guys for watching, hopefully the video was helpful to some of you that you're doing engine replacement, engine wiring replacement, or something like that. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, guys, let's grow that channel together, be part of it, and let us know what you think. Thank you and see you next time.